Hello there, my name is Apocalypse Hero, professional combo caster in Magic the Gathering. And comboing in Magic the Gathering is quite the fickle pickle, what with blue players trying to counter your combo, red players trying to beat you up before you can combo, and black players trying to rip the combo out of your hand. So every moment counts. If you're going to eke out a win, the quicker the better. So here's simulating combo drawing in Magic the Gathering. I set out to quantify how hard it really is to draw your combo, but the math seemed rather complex, what with hypergeometrics and standard deviations. And I'm not a nerd, and people seem to like nice round numbers, so I decided to brute force it instead. At first, I considered doing it all by hand, but that proved ineffectual. I then considered outsourcing the labor. But then I remembered, we have technology. Sadly, the technology likes to fight back. A lot. But after much strife, I now have my own 10,000 monkeys on typewriters. Let's first determine the odds of drawing any particular card. Assuming you have one copy of said card in your standard 60 card deck, it will take 30 draws on average to get that card. If you run two copies, it will take 20 draws. If you have three copies, it will take 15 draws. And if you're running four copies, it will take 12 draws on average. Keep in mind for all these numbers that you draw seven cards at the start of the game. Hold on, you might say. Why are we basing this off of a 60 card deck? Because the inflated cost of cardboard is borderline highway robbery. I meant to say for consistency. While there are a hundred cards for any task, one will always be the most efficient. So why bother running anything else? And the lower the deck size, the more likely you are to get your best answers in any matchup, or in this case, your combo. If you insist on knowing the numbers for larger deck sizes though, the math is simple. If you make your deck 50% larger, it will take 50% longer to draw any particular card. Moving on to the meat and potatoes. A single card isn't much of a combo, so let's get to the numbers on some real combos. For a two card combo, if you're running one offs, it will take 40 draws. For two copies, it will take 28 draws. For three copies, it will take 22 draws. And for four copies, it will take 17 draws on average. But what about a three card combo? This is what most people would consider the upper limit of logical comboing in Magic the Gathering, and for faster formats, this is totally unviable. Nevertheless, time for some numbers. With one copy of each combo piece, it takes 45 draws. For two copies of each, it takes 33 draws. For three copies of each, it takes 25 draws. And for four copies of each, it takes 21 draws. But what if you're feeling crazy? What if you want to summon Exodia, a five-card combo? First off, wrong card game. Second off, if you ran single copies of each of the five cards, it would take 50 draws. Doubles would take 38 draws. Triples would take 30 draws. And sets would take 25 draws on average. That being said, if those ranges didn't make it immediately apparent, keeping your combos small is the key to success, with the majority of iconic combos being two-card combos, such as Inverter of Truth, Thassa's Oracle, or Channel Fireball. These combos are both kept small to reduce the time required to assemble the combo, but also reduce the time spent with suboptimal cards in your hand, because the majority of combo cards don't shine in a vacuum. Another way to speed up drawing your combo is tutors. And this may come as a shock to the commander players out there, where slow games and tutoring are commonplace. But in constructed Magic the Gathering, with its high-paced gameplay, tutors are kinda bad. It turns out spending any mana on something that doesn't give an immediate impact is a losing play in optimized formats, such as Pioneer or Modern. But if you're willing to disregard logic and brave the waters, tutors can help expedite the comboing process. Also keep in mind to make matters even worse is that most tutors have a limited range, meaning they will only be able to search out parts of your combo. But for the sake of argument, we will assume you're only running universal tutors, something typical of black in the color pie. While it takes 12 draws to get any particular card if you're running a set of it, if you have one tutor, it will take 10 draws. If you have two tutors, it will take 9 draws. If you have three tutors, it will take 8 draws. And if you have four tutors, it will take 7 draws on average. That means if you're running a set of a card, and a tutor that can search that card, then you have a 50% chance of having it in your starting hand. In terms of draws saved, a playset of tutors will save you 5 draws for a single card. They will save you 7 draws for a 2 card combo. They will save you 8 draws for a 3 card combo. They also save 8 draws for a 4 card combo. 
and they will save you 9 draws for a 5 card combo. And I hope you had a wondrous Christmas. I know I did. I got Parcheesi. With the little animal!